Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Okey. Dengar tak suara dia? Dengar eh? Sound okey? Okey, how are how's everybody today? Semua sihat? Sihat. Okay. Sihat. Yeah. Actually, you know, uh, the timing of the class is two o'clock. I I don't think it's a very good time. It's two o'clock, you know. So I hope everybody you choose this class, okay, to to be at two o'clock because two o'clock, you know. I, I I have to have a nap before two o'clock, otherwise. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone, okay, everybody, to this class, Econ 1150. This is for section 11 and 12. Everybody, section 11 and 12. Uh, two sections combined together. And that would be. Yeah, yeah. We, we, the, the, the sections are combined from one class. So I would like to welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Alias Madderos, and I will be your teacher for this semester. Now, today, this is the first class. I would like to do a few things today, just introduction. Uh, you like to uh, intro introduce the course, uh, some class policy, and then uh, the evaluation methods, the coverage, and that will be done by looking at the course online. And then we're going to discuss a few, uh, what do you call it? a few communication modes, you know, for us, because we are not going to see each other. You know, I do not know you. I will not see you physically. I will just see you here, you know, online. So this is the way. So we, we're going to, to have a few methods how to communicate. Uh, with with you, between you and me, so we're going to discuss that. Okay. Do we have any Google Classroom? Sabo sabo sabo. Okay. We just want to start the class first. So don't talk about the classroom or the the WhatsApp. Okay, afterwards, we will discuss that. Okay, first, we will do the, this, the discussion just to introduce you to the course. Okay, this is by looking at the course outline. Now, the course outline, the one that I show you here, this is not the latest, okay? The one for this semester, I will have it probably this week, but that is not very important. Okay, the course outline for every semester is not very important. What is more important is the coverage. The coverage is the same for the last few years, so there is no difference. You know, you may have a course outline for this semester, but in terms of the coverage, will be the same. So I can use uh, any course outline for any semester, right? The things are different, are the same. The textbook are the same. Uh, and then the evaluation is the one that is uh, different. I, I will inform you, okay? I will inform you afterwards, you know, our evaluation methods. Uh, how do you determine the grade for everyone? So we're going to do that. And of course, and it is uh, different okay, from one that is written here. I, I will update to you, you know, the, the evaluation <laughs> methods uh, later on. 
Now, in the class, if you during the class, okay, during the class, if you have anything when I speak, okay, you want to raise something, you are free to raise up anything, okay. When I was, uh, even if I am speaking, you have a question or you have a comment, uh, just raise it up, okay. Um, during the class, uh, do not chat, uh, okay. You don't have to chat during the class. Uh, uh, just if you have anything, just say it out. Unless, okay, unless it's about uh, informing a link, a link, okay, a link or internet address, uh, then only you know you you may uh, write them in the in the chatting part. Other than that, if you have anything to say, just say it. All right. We're going to discuss uh, whatever you have, your, your comment, you know, your question, uh, we will discuss as we proceed. Okay, is that clear? All right. Because this is two o'clock, you know, two o'clock is a very critical time. Ngantuk, saya problem ngantuk ni. Okay, so stay awake, okay, stay awake. I don't want to talk to everybody that is sleeping. So make sure you stay awake. If you are sleepy, uh, go wash your face and then come back. Okay, all right. So let's go through the course online. The course is, of course, we know Econ 1150. Uh, this is for section 11 and 12. So I have, you know, for this class about, I think I checked the list uh, last night, about 30, 20 something, so all, all about 50 people. So, you know, I have here 47, uh, 50, so okay, lah, you know, for the first class. So, course online, I would like you, you know, some of the things you can read on your own. So this is the, what do you call it? The overview of the course to provide the students with basic mathematical tools and principles. Uh, to comprehend other courses with quantitative contents. So in other words, this course is a foundation, okay? Foundation that will provide you some tools, not just for the current course, but for your future courses, because uh, this is the only quantitative course, mathematics course that you take. Uh, that or this course, the topics that we learn here, you know, you may use okay some of this later on in your other courses. So that you know that would be one of the objective of the course, and it can provide. You know, provide you the tools that you need for for other courses. For example, if you do economics, then the derivative, okay, which we learn here, would be used. You know, it would be used uh, a little bit in other courses. Or the graph, okay, the graph. How you read the graph? How you draw the graph? Which we learn here would be applicable for other courses. So this is one of the basic purpose of the course. And this is the coverage. The coverage you can see here, you know, cover a, a number of topics and which we are going to go through in, in, in a few more minutes. Okay. Now, if you look at the second part, this is the learning outcome. The learning outcome, is the outcome of our learning. In other words, what is expected of you to know okay, after we finish taking the course. In other words, at the end of the semester, you know, because different people will have different grades, uh, these are the minimum result, okay? Minimum result that is expected of you. Uh, to for you to realize, okay, after we completed the course, 
Now, there are written here four, but of course, there can be more. Uh, this four basic, if you look at number one and number two, number one and number two, you can read that, okay? Can you, can you read, read, read on your own, okay? Read number one, and then you read number two. And then three, four, we will do afterwards. Okay, do you, do you understand what it means uh, one and two? And then you read three and four. All right. Now, this is on you, okay? Not on me. Uh, because this is outcome. Outcome is the result of our learning, okay? Now, what is, uh, what, what is one and two? What, what basically, what, what is it, one and two? What do you understand, okay? From the outcome number one, and outcome number two. And then outcome number three, outcome number four. Apa dah? Cepat, cepat. Ini berdua ni. Berdua ni kena pack up sikit. Tidak ngantuk eh. Anybody, anybody? Apa -apa what, what, what do you understand from uh, one and two? Okay, one and two, if you look at the thing here, one and two is the basic principles. Okay, basic principles from the concept theory. You know, we understand uh, the concept of mathematics on say linear function, what is it? Okay, how do you solve a linear function? How do you draw a linear function? So that is the theory, the concept, all right? So one and two. So if you look at one and two, that means uh, you understand the relevant mathematical operation techniques to solve that particular problem. And then uh, one and two, same thing, okay? You, you perform mathematics operation. That means we understand the principle. We understand the concept, the theory. That's one and two. Now, number three and four, what is it? I give you the idea already, okay? One and two, principles, theory. Okay, number three and four, what does it relate to? It's all about application. Uh, number three say? and four is about application. Good, thank you. In other words, this three and four is to use what you learn in principles, the, the theory, okay, the concept, we apply through to apply problems, okay? In economics, business, accounting, to a certain extent, all right? So there are two parts, okay? Number one, you understand the concepts, you understand the principles. We are able to solve the problems as per the theory. Secondly, we're going to be able to apply those theories, the concepts into some application problems. So two, two parts. Uh, the more important, of course, how do you deal with the application? So we're going to do a lot of uh, application problems, all right? So in this course, uh, the test, you know, the homework, quiz, we will deal more, okay? More with the application uh, problems. In other words, we're going to apply the principles to the applied problem. So this is uh, the outcome of the course. Is it outcome? Uh, yeah, the outcome. So the two parts. Okay? So that, that is the, the, what do you call it? The more important outcome is to be able to uh, relate okay? the concept and the theories to apply problems. Okay, any question, any comment? Okay, good. 
Now, this is instruction method. Instruction method with, with, uh, for us, you know, in this class, we will focus more on, on, it's not really lecture, you know, this is doing mathematics. It's, it's more of, of what you call, I, I prefer, you know, of course, it's a kind of lecture, but I prefer to call it like teaching, you know, teaching the principles or teaching mathematics. Uh, the difference is that lecture is I, I just do the talking, you know, uh, but my purpose here is not just do the talking. Uh, we will do the learning, okay, the learning process. I will explain. And uh, if you have anything, okay, if you have a question or you have a comment or you want me to explain again, uh, you, you are welcome to do it, okay? Because it's online. I don't see you, you don't see me. So probably, you know, one, one drawback is that our underst understanding probably not, not, not as good as if we are in a physical classroom. All right, so I will expect more interaction. Now, if you don't understand anything, uh, just raise it up. So it, it's not lecture as I do it by myself. I will teach, okay? I will explain. And uh, if you have anything, question or comment, just raise it up. Doesn't matter, your question is very simple or your question is, you think, you know, very simple that you are the only one who don't understand. You don't think that way. Because a simple concept that you don't understand, or a simple problem that you don't understand, you think it is simple. Of course, there are also some other people who have uh, that problem. So don't ever think a question or a problem is very simple that you don't need to ask. Okay? So if you want to ask, ask anything, that's okay. Yes, it is related to what we are doing now. Huh? All right. So these are all related like theory-based learning, applied-based learning. So they are they are blended in the sense that we do the theory and then we do the application. All right. I don't, yeah, if you say blended, it's not blended in the way that we do they to, we do them together. We do them step, stage by stage. First, we do the theory. Secondly, we do the apply. So it's not blended. I shouldn't say blended. It's uh, what do you call it? It's uh, two stage, okay? Two stage learning. And then, of course, everything is numerical, okay? Most of the things that we do are based on numbers. So I, I don't, I don't think uh, the theory and the apply and numerical should be separated. You know, the numerical will apply to both, okay, to both here. And the assessment methods, I think this is too restrictive. You have the lectures, final exam, uh, theory-based assignment, I think, okay, according to my understanding on how this is set up, everything here that you learn would be assessed. Either, number one, the, home, the assignment, which is the homework, Number two, quiz. Number three, test, midterm test. Number four will be the final. So everything that you do here, okay, will be assessed by the four methods. Exam, assignment, quiz, uh, exam, midterm, and final. There are two, there are two exams. Okay. Uh, so now we come to the assessment. If you look at this assessment, I, uh, we have to make a few corrections here. Okay, this is, of course, this is not relevant. This is uh, different, okay, different time, different semester, you have different weightage. And of course, there are, there are quite different methods. Okay, number one, we will start, I, I will follow the, the, the order here, okay? We have uh, one midterm test, 
uh, that midterm test would be 30%. Okay, so our midterm is 30%. So I will, I will write down here. Okay, so our evaluation. Evaluation. Okay, number one, you have the test. Okay, when I say test means midterm. All right, so 30%. Now the midterm would be done about the second half of the semester. I think normally we do it from between the eighth week to, to week number 10. All right, so it, it, I, do, I don't specify a specific date yet, okay? But will be around this time. Now, number two, we have the, what, what is this number two? Ah, the quiz, okay? There will be one or two quizzes. Last semester, I managed to do only one quiz. So either one or two, you know, depending on, on timing. Uh, at least we have one. And the quiz is 10%, okay, not 20. So quiz is 10%. So I will make the correction. Number two, you have quiz. It's either one or two, all right? And that is 10%. Now here, we'll do it earlier. Uh, so this one will be before, before the middle semester. So before the seventh week, okay? Before or on the seventh week. Or in other words, by, by seven, by the week number seven, we have the quiz, 10%. If I have two quizzes, one is in the middle, the other one maybe the to the end, all right? Maybe on the 13th week or the 14th. If we have only one, then that will be it. If we have two, there will be another one. Okay, all right. Now the third evaluation would be, no, we don't have class participation because online class is difficult to participate. Uh, if we, I have participation, then it's not fair. There are only two or three people participate. Others normally, you know, we, we just go together with the, with, the, with, the, with the class. So participation will not be counted. Of course, you are welcome to participate. And by the end of the semester, I will know, you know, who participate. So it's good to participate. Uh, but will not be evaluated. What will be evaluated will be the homework and assignment. Okay, this will be another 10%. So you have 50% already. So that 50% will be your CAM. Okay, now the last part would be the final exam. So the final exam would carry 50%. So if you look at the course outline, you have the final exam, 50% total 100. So you have uh, the evaluation number four, that will be the final, and that 50%. So total 100. Now, there are a few things that I would like to discuss about the respective evaluation method itself, especially the assignment, okay? The assignment and the final. Now, number one, the final would be comprehensive. We do it at your home. If you are staying home, you are doing it at your home. If you are in the campus, you are A, you know, you will do it wherever you are, as long as it's in the campus. And I will stay at my home, and then you submit to me through classroom. So comprehensive, uh, final be comprehensive, and then uh, you do at home where you are, right? We do at a certain time, and then submit through classroom. So we will have, okay, 
will have a classroom. I will form the classroom later this week or maybe next week for you to submit our evaluation. So everything to be submitted to classroom. The final exam, the midterm, the quiz, the assignment, okay? Everything, everything will go there to the classroom. Okay, any question? All right. Number two, the homework. Okay, the homework and the assignment, I would like you to do in group. Now, this group is a simple group, only two people. Okay, two people. So you find, okay, you find your friend or anybody, okay, not necessarily your friend, anybody uh, in the same section. So do not find a friend in a different section. I want same section because your name is by section. So if you have in section 11, then that guy or that friend of yours should be in section 11, okay? Or you are section 12, you will be section 12 with your friend. Now, if you don't have a friend, okay? If you don't have a group member, you don't have, it's okay. I would like you, you know, uh, I, I will find it for you. So you just let me know, okay? Let me know. And then I will do the grouping. Probably there is another person or there is a two or three more people that don't have a group member. So we will, we will form, okay? We will form by that way. So it doesn't matter. The group member is your friend or not your friend. The most important thing is what? Is to work together, okay? Work together. So not necessarily your friend. You can have somebody that you don't know, then that becomes your new friend. Okay, most important, you work together, discuss, okay? Discuss, and that is good for you. Discussion is good. So you discuss the problem, and then you prepare the work. And this homework, after you, dis uh, you discuss, you, you just uh, prepare by the group, okay? Assignment or the homework, must be submitted only by the group. So one group, one assignment. I mean, for each assignment, huh? okay? You do not have to submit for everyone in the group. Everybody submit the assignment, no. For one group, one assignment, all right? Of course, that will come from your discussion. Okay, uh, any question? Um, is that clear? Hello? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 I may miss something. Homework hmm. midterm assignment. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's continue with the course outline. Okay. Uh, you look again through the course outline. This one, not important. Okay, student learning time. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter how long you study. Okay, we cannot just say uh, 42 hours to study and doing the reading revision. Don't calculate the hours. You are wasting your time. Just study. Okay, some people may need longer hours. Some people need shorter hours. So just focus on yourself. You know yourself, you know. You know the strength of you. You know your capacity, your capability you know, how much knowledge you have for this course. I mean, the foundation knowledge. So the, the learning time will be based on that. And what grade you want. If you want uh, A, okay, 
That means more likely you have to study more. If you want a C, uh, then you can study a little bit less. But of course, don't target a C. Okay, if you target a C, you may miss that target, you fail. If you target A, you miss the A, at least you get a B. Okay, so target A. All right, uh, don't target C. Now, how do you target A? To target A, I'll go back to what I have here. To target A, you have to do all the evaluation here. Uh, the assignment, the quiz, you know, assignment quiz, it look, look very, very low, you know, 10%. Uh, some people may think, oh, I don't need that 10%. I can do the midterm, I can do the final, it's already 80%. And this 20% is almost very, very low, you know, I don't need that. No, if you think that way, that's wrong. Okay, please do not think that way. Because from my experience, there are people who thought that way. They don't care about the homework. They don't care about the assignment. They think they can do the quiz. I know. Uh, sometimes, you know, people miss the quiz. They think they can do the test. They can do the final. Normally, those people, actually, you underestimate, you know, the, you underestimate the, uh, your expectation. Uh, you think that you are you are good, okay? You can just do the midterm and the test, but at the end of the semester, you know, you will you will uh, fall down. I mean, you will you will get below your expectation. So you you target a B, okay? You think that you can get a B by doing the midterm and the final. So by end of the semester, actually you don't, okay? You you may get a D or a C. Okay, Ramadan, uh, you have a question? Yes, sir. Okay. Where, where can we get the link of the classroom? The link of the classroom? Uh, yeah. I, I, will, I will give you the link. Okay? Uh, the classroom, I will give you the link. So for now, okay, for now, we are going to communicate through the Italian, right? Uh, the classroom, I will give you the link. But we come back, we come to that. Let afterwards, okay? Uh, I will talk a little bit about the classroom and the, the WhatsApp. But now I'm talking to you, okay, about doing everything here. Even though the homework and the assignment is 10%, that is the difference to get an A, okay? If you get a zero for this one, you know, you don't do the homework because it's too simple, uh, you know, nothing. If you think that way, you think again. All right, because from my experience, there are some people who do that and they get upset. I mean, at the end of the semester, they don't get the grade they, they, they want. So do everything, okay? Do everything. Because this quiz and the homework, that will help you. You know, if you are on the margin, if you're on the borderline, if you, have, if you are C plus, you know, to get B minus, Okay, they, this can be the difference. Or from A minus to get A. So that will be the difference. Okay, so I want everybody to do these things. Simple, simple thing. That means simple thing means simple, easy to get the points. Okay, the homework is easy. It's easy 10%. So target this homework as high as you can get. Target 10% or eight or nine. Okay, if you get 2%, that means you lost already 8%. So you see that? That is the, the, the one that you lose. So make sure you do it. You do everything. The way, you know why I remind you this? Because last semester, semesters last year, there are students who have that mentality. Okay, who don't want to work that much and they expect high grade. Now, don't do that. Okay, in Islam, okay, in Islam, even though you work hard, it's not necessary that you will get the reward. Okay, you work hard. You may not get the money that you want. Okay, but the prerequisite is what? To work hard. Okay, the reward will come. So if you don't work hard, what do you expect? You expect a high reward? You, it, can, it can happen. But it doesn't happen that, that often, you know. 
uh, in this uh, learning, it can happen to some very smart students. You know, there are there are a few students who are very smart. Um, they don't have to come to the class that often. They don't do the homework, but but they 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 can score. Why? These are people who are very smart, but most of us, okay, most of us are not very smart. Uh, we are just average. Okay, like myself, I just, I'm just an average student. So we have to spend time. Okay. Uh, and again, like I said earlier, you have to know. Okay. You have to know yourself. Huh? Okay. You have to know yourself. Don't worry about other people. Just worry about yourself. Okay. So these are the evaluation. Now, next, I would like to look at the. So my point is don't worry about this thing. Okay. The learning time, apa benda tu? Don't, don't waste your time. All right? Forget about this. You just study uh, knowing yourself. Okay, these are the coverage. Before we do the coverage, I would like to look at the textbook. Okay, mana textbook? Mana ada textbook? Right? Textbook. Tadi ada textbook? Ah, ni dia. Okay, the textbook that we are going to use is the book by Hashberger. Uh, this book is normally, I, I've been using this book for quite a number of years. So this is the same book. The book that I have here is the 11th edition. Okay. Uh, if you have the book, probably you have the second edition, oh, no. Uh, 10 edition ke pun boleh. Okay, this book. Nampak tak? Ha, ni dia. Saya tunjuk dulu. Tapi, ha, ya. Yeah. Pada pagi tadi, saya cuba nak besarkan skrin tu tak boleh. Okay, this is the book. This is the book by Hashburger. Uh, if you have from your friend, that's good. If you want to buy hard copy, you can go to the UIA. U UIA bookstore. But now you cannot travel. You cannot travel cross border. Uh, you can have this online. Okay, this textbook is available online. And I know, probably some of you have the link. I'll give you the link later on, okay? Uh, you can have the book. Um, you can have the book. The book you can have by have the linkage. To the I don't know you know there, there is there is a link that you can access. Uh, excuse me, sir. Huh? Sorry. Can we use the ebook? Of course, you can use the ebook because uh, now you have I know, e because I have the edition <laughs> you have for e the ten. How come you cannot edition. use ebook? Yes, sir, you know? I know. Ah, uh, you you nowadays it's difficult for you to go to you are by the book or even go to Kuala Lumpur by the book if you are in Sarawak or you are in in Kuala Lipe, you know. Uh, in Johor Bahru, susah, ha? okay? So, ebook. That's why I give you the link. If you have a link, because uh, I have a few students from my morning class, have the link, I will share with you, all right? If you have the link, you can share with your friends. Get the book. But the book is important, whether it's ebook or iBook, okay? Uh, the book is important because I'm going to use the book as our main reference. So the book, is important. Either it is ebook, but I give you, I, I, you know, I think now you, you just get the ebook. That is the simplest book, the simplest way. Now, the book is important. Uh, why? Because the examples, so many examples, you know, the examples and the book I will use, I will discuss in the class. So the examples are important. And of course, the homework questions are from the book. So please get the books, okay? Everybody should have the book. If you don't have the book, uh, you're already uh, falling behind, okay? You're already falling behind. Uh, it's like you want to swim, but, or you want to dive, but you don't have the oxygen, okay? So things like that, all right? So get the book. If you have the linkage, you can share with your friends. If you don't, I will give you the link uh, later on. Uh, 
clear. Uh, 10 edition pun boleh. 11 edition pun okay. Uh, jangan, uh, ni dia. Ini eh. Is this the linkage? Uh, so there is a link already given by Ikhwan. Okay. So afterwards, you can get that. Betul tak? Ini buku lah. Betul lah. Application. Okay. So this is the linkage. Everybody can share that one. If you don't, nanti saya pun boleh bagi. Uh, you can have. Mine is 11 edition. But probably now there is a 12 edition. I don't know. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Ikhwan. Okay. Uh, Doctor, how about nine edition? Apa? Uh, how about nine edition? Uh, uh, is it okay? Nine, nine edition. Uh, yeah, nine edition is probably probably too old, uh, because ten is. I I but I'm not sure. You know, uh, I haven't compare whether the nine edition is, is it too too much difference than the later edition. If it is not, then of course you can use. All right. Uh, if it is, if the difference is quite significant, probably the examples you know that we use in the in the eleventh edition is different from the ninth edition. Uh, then probably you you need to to get the later edition now. Uh, but if it is still available there, uh, the questions are the same. Then 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 it's okay, because sometimes different edition they just add, they just add a few things you know. They don't really do changes a lot, so if that the case, then it, it, that's it's okay. But anyhow, get get, get the ebook. Okay, the ebook is quite recent. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, kapan lagi tadi? Dah buku dah siap. So we have the link to the ebook. Now we look at the coverage. All right. Now based on the book. The coverage, we go by the topic now, okay? Uh, the topic in terms of coverage, and of course, that will be uh, based on the chapters in the book. Now, first topic, this is the review, okay? Very basic uh, on functions. And we focus more on linear function. So if you look at here, the application will be the linear function. Uh, we don't look at the quadratic and other things okay? because the quadratic exponent, things like that, well, we will come up later on. Uh, for the first topic, we are going to look at only just linear function. And of course, uh, this uh, introduction chapter, I think chapter one and two, uh, will give you the quadratic, the exponent, that's introduction. Right? So you can, you can do it. But our focus will be on linear function. That's topic number one. Now, topic number two. Okay, I I'll go by how you how we cover. Okay, how we move on. Uh, the second topic, topic number two. Normally, I go to I will do the linear programming. Okay, linear programming is inequalities. So inequalities, they are linear inequalities, related to the linear function. So that's why I do the linear inequalities before other topics because it's related to the first topic. Uh, so linear programming is basically linear inequalities and how you solve problems by using linear inequalities. So that's linear programming, our second topic. Now, third topic would be on the derivative. So derivative would be our third topic. Here is topic number five. This is the derivative. The differentiation, derivative. So derivative is quite important. Not quite important, it's very important. Because uh, if you look at this book, uh, derivative will cover a few chapters, you know? I think three, three chapters and four chapters if you take into account uh, some other types of function. So derivative is very important. And of course, this one will be applied to, to you, I mean, if you do economics, uh, this concept will be relevant, you know, after you go up to the second year, third year, and the final year. And of course, 
you know, if you do other areas as well, uh, you you want to do maximum minimum, then we have to to have understanding of derivative. So derivative, our second topic. And if you look at the course outline, it cover you know quite a number of chapters. One, two, three, and then four here. Okay. After that, we move on again. This is related to the derivative, but we call it partial derivative, where you have a function with several with many variables. So we do the partial derivative. So that is the next topic uh, that will cover, I think, one chapter. After that, we will do the integration. Okay. Now, integration is the opposite of derivative. After you understand the derivative, we can understand integration because opposite. Uh, then you look at integration. And finally, we do the mat matrices. Okay. The, that matrix. So we do the matrix algebra. So basically, that is our main coverage. Like I said, uh, first topic here is a review, basically, the main, okay, the main topics would be the derivative, the, the partial derivative, and then the integration. So these three topics, I think, will form uh, the core of the course, okay? And then... To the right, to the left, you have linear programming. And then you have the linear function. And then you have the matrix algebra. So the core will be those three topics. All right? OK. OK, any, anything, any question, any comment? OK. Now, based on the course outline, and based on the evaluation method that I outlined earlier, there are a few, okay? There are a few, what do you call it? Soft skill. Uh, we call it transferable skill. Have you heard about transferable skill? Soft skill? That these are the skills, okay? These are the skills that you gain indirectly by taking courses, okay? Not necessarily this course, it can be any other courses. That is soft skill, all right? If you look at the, how we, we manage the course, okay? Uh, there are a few types of skill that you may gain. Here, it's, it's not the, the one that you, got, you gain directly, it's indirect. By doing the things, doing the work, you may improve the transferable skills or the soft skills. Now, what are the soft skills? Anybody remember what are the soft skills? Give me one example. Is it like working I'm together? Problem solving. Huh? What's that? I, I, I couldn't, I, it's not very clear to me. Can you repeat Problem solving? Sentence? Problem solving. Okay, that's one. Problem solving. Okay, up again. Working in a team. Ah, team. Teamwork. Okay. Teamwork. Okay, what else? Communication. Ah, communication. Okay. The list can be exhaustive. Communication. Communication. And uh, other Time management. Ah, good. Time management. It's not just from this course, okay? It's from any other courses. Okay, apa lagi? I think four has to go. So by taking the course, by doing the work, okay, that we are supposed to do, indirectly, we can improve all these skills. Number one, communication skill, all right? Teamwork, problem solving, okay, uh, teamwork. Uh, we can relate to the, to the things uh, by the group. Okay, that's why I formed the group. By the group discussion, doing the homework, all right, that can improve your communication skill because you, you will talk, you discuss. Now, when you do the talking, don't talk in your mother tongue. 
uh, talk in English. Don't worry about the English yang macam, remember baru ni, English? Siapa menteri itu cakap English tak bagus kan? Siapa penyanyi itu yang tegur tu? Apa nama dia? Adi Bahno. Jangan bimbang. Don't worry about our English. What is more important, speak. Pronunciation memanglah berjabur. Kita bukan orang putih. Huh? Kita ni orang Melayu. Oh, you are Indian. Oh, you Pakistani. Oh, you Chinese. Uh, we, we cannot pronounce everything in English as Englishmen. Okay? So don't worry. The more important thing is you talk. Okay? So if you are too worried about how we pronounce things like that, then sampai mati pun kita tak akan cakap. Okay? So the thing is you talk in English. Okay? So improve your communication. So don't worry about this comment these people make. Okay? Dia ingat ni pandai sangat English. Okay. Even English, if you look at the apa kata nama, orang putih cakap apa, kan? Australian, American, British, English. Uh, they, they have a different accent. Okay. So, what English are you talking about? Okay. Alright. So, just speak English. Apa? Uh, so the teamwork you can also gain by the group discussion. All right, uh, teamwork you work together, and of course another one, uh, leadership. Leadership. Okay, leadership skill. If you form a group, even though two people, but you are the one to remind your friend. Okay, our meeting today is five o'clock. Uh, you have to write now on this three o'clock. So you already form some form of leadership skill. All right? And teamwork means you work together. Okay? You work together. That means you work with, not work for. Okay, what is the difference between you work with your friend or you work for your friend? Hmm. Apa Uh, work with means uh, collaboration, isn't it? No, ah, you work with means you work together. Okay, we have a work together, collaboration, cooperate. Now you work for. What does it mean? You work under your friend. Ah, you work under your friend. Your friend is the boss. You are doing everything. Okay, and the outcome, the points that you get, he will get. So don't do that, all right? You must work together. Not one is working, the other is the boss, okay? So either you are good, you are not so good, work together with your friend in the group, okay? Don't behave like a boss. Some, some I know some people, uh, they like to do that, you know? That's why I form only two groups. I, I mean, I form group with two people so that I can minimize, uh, you know, uh, a few people who have that attitude. They don't want to contribute. They don't want to attend discussion. Uh, they act like they are the boss. And then when the, out, when the work is done, uh, then they will join you and they get the mark. So don't behave like that, okay? If you have any, if you have a tendency to behave like that, you work you want somebody to work for you, that means you just get free marks. Okay, that is not good. Okay, that's not good attitude. Uh, you must work together. Everything here, you work together with your friend. Okay, so work with. So you have leadership, you have the teamwork, and of course, you, uh, you, you, you can improve your problem sol solving skill by doing, uh, you know, I give you some homework questions. And then I'll give you the quiz, everything that will relate to problem solving. Okay, uh, time management. Bagus, time management. Saya pun tak terfikir time management. Uh, time management means you, you, you can be more efficient, right? How would you manage your time to, to, you know, to study? Uh, how you manage your time to do the test? Okay, how you manage your time to do discussion. Okay. Uh, all right. 
So that's it. We are done with the discussion of the course start line. Uh, we are done with the grading. And now there are a few other things. Okay, number one, attendance. Okay, attendance. Now, of course, attendance, I can check attendance. Uh, I can check attendance through the Zoom. Then the Zoom will give you the list uh what time you come in what time you leave all right uh, they give you that record so you must attend okay if you want to attend you attend full if you if you just want to attend uh five minutes okay i will have the record okay i have the record you come uh two o'clock you check out 2.10. And then uh, toward the end of the class, you come in at 2.15. Then you come, you go, you leave at 2.20. Now, don't do that, okay? If you feel that you don't want to come, don't come at all, okay? So it's either you come full or you just don't come. If you do just want to come, okay, just to record your attendance, come five minutes, uh, don't do that okay uh, don't do that you are cheating yourself and of course you 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 make me angry okay uh, don't cheat yourself okay if you don't if you want to cheat yourself better don't come all right there are a few people who will do that because in zoom uh, the record will be will be available so if you think that you come in five minutes and then oh that means i i'm attending uh, you are cheating yourself Okay, so attendance means you come full. Now that doesn't mean you can you cannot be absent. Okay, you can be absent. So be absent only a few times. Don't be absent every week. Okay, if you have the habit every week you miss one class. By end of the semester you come only fifty percent of the classes. That that's bad lah. If you want to be absent a few times, that will be okay lah. Okay, for the semester, you want to be absent uh, dua kali ke tiga kali, boleh lah. Okay? Dua, tiga kali, empat kali, okay lah tu. Because sometimes, well, you boring ke? Ada kelahan. You know, you have some other things to do. So, two, three times, okay. Alright? That's natural people, natural behavior. I myself, you know, I like to be absent from my classes. But don't be absent every week. You miss one class, you know. Every month, you miss half the classes. Uh, that is attitude problem. Eh? Uh, don't do that. If you want to be absent, two, three times, okay. All right. And this attitude of coming five minutes, 10 minutes, don't, don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Because uh, I can check the record and it's not good. Okay, that's number one. Number two. Okay. Attendance. Before I proceed, attendance. Are there, are there proper, any, any, any question, any comment on attendance? Uh, is there any a balance boarding system in the attendance? Is there any what? Boarding system, the balancing system. Ah, uh, it, it, it's it's difficult to monitor lah. You know, normally I don't bar people based on the attendance. If it is a face to face meeting, then it's easier. Now it's online. You know, it's it's more difficult. So. So attendance, I just remind people, okay? I just remind, that's what I can do. I, can, I just remind, I check the attendance, I can remind people. Uh, but if you, some people continue to do that attitude, then uh, I, I'm not going to bar, you know? Uh, I don't think I'm going to bar. So far, I, I have, last semester, I didn't bar anybody. Uh, but if you are absent many times, that means you book a ticket, okay? You book a ticket to failure, okay? That means if you get E or you got F, uh, don't blame me, lah. okay? Blame yourself. So, yeah, you 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 remind me uh, to to say to for me to say something. Uh, when you do online class, this is more on self, self. What you call it? Self monitoring. 
okay? Because uh, we, we are not here, you know? Uh, we are not here, I don't see you face to face. I, I look at you, I do not know you, you know? I know the names, but I, I cannot, I don't know your, your, your faces. So you have to do self-monitoring. Now, if you are at home, okay, if you are at home, you can ask your parent to, to, to monitor you, ask your father, okay? Just ask your father to check your attendance, everything, or your mom, okay? Or your brothers and sisters. So that can remind you, you know, uh, if you do anything that is not favorable to the cause, you know, you, you, you ask your parents or your sister's brothers to, to remind you. But most importantly, you monitor yourself. So online class, okay? Uh, of course, I don't really like online class, but what can we do? Okay, this is the best that we can do given the constraints. So you have to monitor yourself, okay? Uh, you must have your self conscious you must have the discipline, you must develop everything on your own, right? Of course, I can help you, okay? If you have anything problem, you can, you can, you can talk to me, okay? No problem, you can, you, can, you can discuss with me, okay? All right. Okay, that's number one. Number two, number two. your names. Since I don't see you, I don't know you, I only know you from the class, from the class list. And I know you, you know, maybe after you do the work, I can see the grade that you get. So what I would like you to do, what I would like you to do is, I would like you to put your name, okay? Put your name and if possible, your picture, okay? Your video, okay? So if you look at this guy, this is me, myself. Then you see Ikhwan here, uh, Faza, Hanis, okay? Nurun, Shamimi, Nurun Shamimi, Purdah ke face mask, huh? Ini orang semua pakai puda. Puda. Puda ke face mask? Puda. Puda, okay, bagus. Tak payah pakai face mask. All right. Okay, I want you to put your name, full name, and put your picture. Okay, like here, video. That's good. You know, I can see you. Uh, even Muhammad Dafa ni picture betul. Ha, ni? Okay, but don't put this one. Ni siapa ni? Ayub. Zeti Ayub. Don't put another picture, cartoon ke, gambar kucing ke, gambar ikan ke. You know, nah, ni N. Apa benda N ni? Ni Afifa. Afifa, are you here? Afifa? Yes, oh. Dr. Ha. Tukar ni, jangan letak N. Saya tak tahu N ni apa benda. Okay? So please uh, replace uh, the label that you have. Uh, number one, put your, no your name, your real name, as per the class list. Okay, if you can, you can put in the metric number and then put in your picture, your own picture. Don't put uh, your parents' picture, you know, your grandmother's picture, put your own picture. So that at least I can, I can relate, you know, I can relate. Uh, ni Dayang Fatin ni, dengar letak gambar burung, eh, gambar burung pula. Gambar bunga, cantik ni bunga ni. Okay, my Sarah, this is a nice picture but wrong wrong place, okay? And this is no role I need. Don't put picture like this, okay? Put your picture at least uh, passport size. Well, I can look at the face, all right? So there are a few people here who put pictures that is not yourself. So please replace. And then uh, Rafiza Tafani, Tafani Bawazir. Okay, Tafani Babazir, are you here? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Indonesia. Are, are you Malaysian? No. Where are you? Uh, in Indonesia. Are you in Indonesia? Or are you in Malaysia right now? In Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia? Oh, okay. So how how's uh, COVID-19 Indonesia? Still bad? Yeah. Huh? 
Okay, you take care of yourself. Where where are you now? In Jawa or Sumatera ke Kalimantan? Jawa. Jawa. Jakarta ke? No, Malang. Malang. Uh, so Malang is okay lah, you know, quite far from Jakarta lah. Yeah. Uh, so take care. All right. So put your picture eh, Afani. Okay, sir. All right. Uh, you know, there are a few people. Okay, Muhammad Dafa. Muhammad Dafa, are you here? Yes, uh, I'm here, sir. Okay, good. Nurul Patricia. Yes, sir. Uh, Nurul Aif, Nurul Alpha. Uh, Fazuddin. Okay, Fazuddin, good. You put your metric number, you put your name. Uh, your picture, I cannot see you. Uh, so, so this is the things, right? I want you to put your name clearly and then uh, put your real picture. Uh, no, no, Atira. No, Atira, are you here? Yes, sir. Uh, is it you? Ni? No. Ni orang mana? Orang Korea ke? Ni, <laughs> ni peminat Korea ke? Aduh. Tak payahlah. I actually changed the picture by his name. Letakkan kamu sendiri. Yeah, tak payah letak orang Korea lah. Alright. Kalau letak kamu tunang, tak apa kot. Okay? Kalau letak kamu sendiri. Okay? Alright. So, that is uh, my comment lah. Okay, put your real picture. So at least I, I can have an idea, you know, uh, of my students. Uh, at least, you know, because I, I, I don't see you. I cannot see you. You know, I don't know. I, you are in Indonesia. Maybe you are in China. Are there anybody from, uh, anybody who, is, who are now outside Malaysia? Ada lagi tak? Or just seorang je daripada Indonesia? Saya. Saya. Where are you from? Uh, Indonesia. Indonesia agak. What, what is your name? Uh, Dafa. Dafa. Oh, Dafa. You are from Indonesia. Ah. Uh. You are in Indonesia right now. Yeah. Uh, where, where, where is it? Uh, Jakarta. Jakarta. Ah. Uh. Oh, Jakarta. You better take care. Okay, Jakarta is one of the most congested or populated places. But but I like Jakarta. You know. I like the town. It's, uh, even though it's mm. big, but, but uh, something something good. Jakarta, very nice. Okay, all right. So other people are from Malaysia. And anybody from Sabah? Anybody uh, in Sabah right now? I'm from Indonesia. Huh? I'm from Indonesia. Indonesia, yeah. What yeah. What is your name? Faza Muhammad Faza Ramadan. Muhammad Faza Ramadan. You also in Jakarta? Yeah? In Indonesia, uh, uh, near of Jakarta, so Tangerang. Uh, where, where is it? Tangerang Selatan. Tangerang. Oh, Tangerang Selatan. Okay. So take care. Alright. Yes, okay. So uh, that is regarding the the names. Okay, the names. Okay, number three. Number three, um, we have a few ways to communicate, all right? Communication modes. Number one, the one that is already being set up is the italim. Okay, but italim is not, it's not so easy, all right? Uh, so we will do something that is easy to, communi to communicate. So we will form WhatsApp. Okay, what's a group? Now this was a group. I form only one group. That means uh, for for this class, eleven and section twelve. Okay. Now, in order for me to form the WhatsApp group, I need your help because I'm not very good in this uh, WhatsApp WhatsApp. Uh, last semester I did with a few students, but I, I, also, I already forgot how to do it. So I need a few two people. Okay, two people, yeah, not many. One or two people. Two people to help me form the group. And then you set up the linkage, you, you inform to everybody else. Now, two people, anybody who volunteer to, to do, give me your name. Anybody, two people only. One, one I prefer one, one male, one female. One, two. Five, five. Tidak nanti saya kena cari nama sendiri. Okay. Sebelum saya 
cari nama tu volunteer dulu lah siapa and let me help you sir okey rafiza okey number one is rafiza rafiza section berapa are you from 11 or 12 uh, 12 okey 12 so i need one more person preferably 11 a man a male It's, it's nothing much you know you will do the work only at the beginning after that uh, don't worry about it it's nothing much okay so but for only let me help you sir but okay, i what's your name faza faza okay faza you in 11 in 12 12 in section 12 uh is there anybody from 11 because i have already one from the 12 yeah anybody from 11 me sir okay what is your name faizuddin izuddin faizuddin uh, okay faizuddin so say to the faiz lah ya yes okay 11 okay faza i'm sorry because uh, i already have 12 but thank you okay thank you for your willingness to cooperate uh, no. i wish i could have you you know uh, as admin but i need only two people So Faiz and Rafiza, one eleven, one twelve. So you you form the group, okay? Form the group and then get the linkage. You let me know, all right? So we call the WhatsApp. I have another class ten o'clock. I call that Econ one one five zero, ten a.m. So for this one, you call it ten p.m. or two p.m. Okay? So that we know, I, so that I know, and at least for me. You know, one class is ten, one class is two. So I, I know that class uh, econ one one five zero, two p.m. Okay, so that is the WhatsApp. Now you you anything you contact me, Faiza, eh, Faiza, Pak Rafiza, dengan Pak Is or anybody. Uh, you you contact saya. Uh, my number zero one nine, three three zero eight zero one two. Correct. Nanti you form up, esok ke, lusa ke, hari ni ke, tak kira lah. Okay, you, you let me know. Okay, that's number berapa? Number two. Number three. Uh, classroom. Now, classroom, I will I will form. Okay. Classroom is slightly different than the WhatsApp. WhatsApp, we go by the class. Classroom will go by section. So, you have here, okay, sections 11, 12. So there will be two classroom. Okay, one classroom for 11, the other classroom is 12. No, you got it. I I I will think. Is it one classroom for everybody or one classroom for 11 and 12? I I will think about it. Okay, probably 11 and 12 because it's smaller group. You know, easier to manage. If I combine, that will be about you know more than 50 people. Quite quite big number. If I go by the section, then about 30 people, you know. So that that will be a smaller group, uh, easier to manage. So maybe I will go by the group, by the class. No, no, by the section. Okay, but I will think about it. So that is classroom. As I said earlier, every submission, okay, your homework, your quiz, everything you submit to the classroom. So that is the purpose of classroom. So now we have three. We have three communication mode. So there is no problem of miscommunication, right? I have Italian. I have the WhatsApp. I have the classroom. Now my most preferred mode will be the WhatsApp because WhatsApp is now. Okay. Italian ni you have to click in. Satu, click in. Satu. Click in satu, baru jumpa. Okay, it take uh, a few minutes. So I prefer mostly the WhatsApp. Now the WhatsApp, I would like to remind. Uh, WhatsApp ni of course very simple, uh, you know very effective. But the WhatsApp group ni, we want only to focus on 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 econ on math. All right. Uh, we don't bring any other problem here, okay? Uh, don't talk about your friend. Don't talk about 
your music, okay? Don't talk about other things, your politics, okay? Don't say you support one political party, okay? Don't share here. We only do on mathematics. So please, okay, do mathematics. If you have a question on math, let's say you have a question on, on, on anything, on any topic, on, on a problem. So you put it here, right? Don't send anything to my phone. Okay, don't WhatsApp me here. Okay, regarding mathematics, don't WhatsApp me here. Because if you share the question, the things that you don't know, you are not sure, you put into the group, WhatsApp, then I don't have to answer. Okay, your friends can answer. All right, that is the, that is the good thing about WhatsApp. Your friends can respond, can help. All right, your friends will help you. And then uh, the problem that you have will be shared by other people. So we share the problems. You have that problem, at least another person have the same problem. Okay, not only you. So your friend will have, your friend will answer the question. If nobody can answer, uh, I answer. Right? Okay. Now, if I answer and my answer is strong, you help me, okay? You tell me, sir, that one is wrong. So you let me know, okay? Because some people, even though I do mistake, they just keep quiet. And then sampai habis tahun pun salah, okay? So if I do a mistake, you let me know, okay? Because I know, okay? Some people here are very good in mathematics. Uh, just that sometimes they are very quiet. So if I do a mistake, I make an error, please let me know, okay? Uh, because I report, I'm a student of mathematics. So I can be, you know, uh, the teacher is not somebody who knows so many things, okay? The teacher is only a person who knows some of the things, okay? So that is the sharing through WhatsApp. So I, I prefer WhatsApp because it's very convenient. Of course, you can you can put a question in the email or you can post a question in the Italian, but I may respond lambat lah. Sebab saya jarang buka Italian. Okay? Uh, email pun saya jarang buka. So, what's up? What's up dulu? Okay, number one. This is our choice, number one. Okay, so that's number four. Number five. Number five. Apa lagi? Number five. Apa lagi nak cakap? Anything? Anything that you think I should say? Wait, ada tidur lah ke? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I keep you, you know, for one hour and 20 minutes. Anything uh, that I miss? Sir? Yes. Um, regarding the WhatsApp group, do we need to make a separate um, WhatsApp group or combine WhatsApp group with section 12 and 11? Uh, same. Just one. Okay. okay. Uh, one group. Uh, combine, we go by the class, okay? That's why I need 1% from 11, 1% from 12, uh, just, to, just to represent the section. Uh, but the group will be only one group, okay? Huh, clear? Group, only one group. Kita combine. Yes, combine sir, 12. thank you. Uh, 12 and 11, we combine together, okay? All right, anything? Anything else? Okay, saya dah cakap pasal WhatsApp, saya dah cakap pasal classroom. Uh, I only talk about the, the communication and then the names, the attendance. Okay. Okay, I think I cover most of the things. Anything that I miss, you know, we, we can always uh, raise it up later on, right? So I think uh, that will do it for today. Uh, we will start our class proper on Wednesday. So there is no excuse now you know, for not having the book because the linkage is already given. And then I will, you know, we will put the linkage in the WhatsApp, all right? Uh, we have the linkage we put in the WhatsApp so that everybody can share.
uh, but I will prefer, you know, even though you have the ebook, probably you can print, okay, some of the pages, uh, the homework, uh, the, the problems or things like that. Probably you can print and then have it uh, hard version. Okay, now anything else? So if there is nothing, I will stop here. I will see you again on Wednesday. So our class is on Wednesday, the next class, and I will see you again. So have a nice, have a nice week. Okay, have a nice week. Come in. And maybe you have classes. Thank you, sir. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I see you again on Wednesday. So with that, I will see you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you yeah, so much, sir. All right, I'll see you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, the benda ni, the link ni, everybody will be able to access, kan? Okay, so we are, we are good already.